the Faroe Islands. Nestled in the middle of the North Atlantic, hundreds of miles from Scotland to the south and Iceland to the north. They're home to around 50,000 people and more than 900,000 puffins. If you're going to live out here, you have to be self-reliant. And that's especially true when it comes to energy. That's why the Faroe Islands have a very ambitious plan to switch off all of their fossil fuel generation by 2030. <laughs> Efter 2030 ska öll elorska i landet vara ur värande orskkällor. Vi vill inte bruka värande orskkällor för att släppa undan att bränna olja. Och vi vill ha vind, vi vill ha vatten, vi vill ha sjöarfall och vi vill ha sol. Och det här orskkällorna vill inte ha gagnyta så att vi kan framtida trycka orskkörven bära av landet och skäckfärd. But renewable energy sources like that are notoriously changeable which can be a problem for utility companies because the amount of power generated can fluctuate wildly. That's why the system is built around a vital piece of technology from ABB called a synchronous condenser. It might not look like much, but this piece of kit is at the heart of the Faroe's green energy strategy. It uses energy from the grid to revolve almost like a giant bicycle wheel. But if the power supply drops, the momentum built up here can be used to send power back into the grid until the battery kicks in. It means the grid remains stable and reliable, no matter how the demand or the weather changes. It is really important for us that these uh, technologies are available because otherwise we, we could... We like to increase the level of, of instantaneous wind penetration up to, say, 90% maybe. But in order to do so, we need all those new technologies. So we rely very much on uh, modern companies providing us with the necessary equipment in order to succeed in our, in our transition. We do see uh, the Faroe Islands as a living lab for other islands uh, that could follow the same path common 100% green. So it's really important for us, first of all, to get rid of the oil, to lower our emission, but to be a role model for other islands as well.